Greetings all and welcome to Algo Fox Academy. In today's video, we are going to start a new series on Trading View. Trading View is one of the most popular trading platform among traders. In this series, I am going to teach you step by step how exactly to use Trading View, what are the features and how it can help you as a trader to evolve your profitable system and finally how exactly to automate any trading strategy from it. Today we are going to start lesson 1 on Trading View and we are going to talk about basic features of this platform. So let's dive into this platform and explore the features. Alright so let's head to my Trading View account. In Trading View you have two plans the free version and then there is a paid version. In paid version they have three types of plan Pro, Pro Plus and Premium. I am currently on the highest plan that is the premium. However, to begin with, you can even start with as low as the free plan. It will still work for you with limited features and few ads. So this is how trading view looks like. Let me just go to the charts. To go to the chart, you have to just go to the products. In the products, you have chart plus. So just click on the chart plus and this is how your chart looks like. Now you will notice that I have a lot of scripts that I have developed on my own. There is a buy signal, sell signal and few indicators. Let me just remove all of them first. We'll talk about them also as we go ahead in this series. So I've removed everything and this is how the simple chart looks like. Currently I have silver. If I want to change the script, I can change it from here. Just click on this symbol search and here instead of silver, I can add anything. Let us say I can even search for nifty and when I search nifty I have nifty 50 that is a spot and nifty 50 index futures let us say I stick to spot I can just click on nifty 50 and this is how nifty 50 chart looks like this is a five minutes chart now on this chart I can add any indicator trading view has more than 500 inbuilt indicators and a lot of community scripts as well we are going to talk about them step by step let us first talk about changing the time frame of the chart. Now this is a nifty chart and this is a 5 minutes chart denoted by 5M here. Now if I want to change the time frame of this particular chart, I can simply click on this drop down arrow and these are the time frames I can select. For example, say I want to select 15 minutes chart, I can simply click on 15 and you will see the chart getting loaded. Now sometimes when you are shifting between time frames, you will see that the chart is not correctly loaded. You will see the bottom on the chart but the top is missing, it is somewhere. So to adjust the chart as per your scale, there is this auto option here. Just click on this auto and you will see the chart has loaded correctly for 15 minutes chart. Similarly, if I want to change the time frame, I can maybe go to a one hour chart and this is how early chart of nifty looks like if you are a paid member of trading view you can go to smaller time frames also for example let us say i'm going to one second now this is how the chart looks like for every one second you will see on every single second there is one new tick coming in here not only this the advantage of seeing charts on trading view is that i can have my custom time frames also now there are conventional time frames here like five minutes three minutes five minutes ten minutes fifteen minutes if i don't want to follow this conventional time frame and if i want to choose some unconventional time frame it is absolutely possible in trading view for example let us say i want to see a chart of 22 minutes i can simply click on this drop down and using my number pad select 22 and you will see a dashboard appearing here with 22 minutes click on enter and that is it now you see a chart of 22 minutes that means each candle represents 22 minutes similarly i can drop down an arrow again and i can select any random time frame let us say maybe 36 i can do absolutely anything this way so any unconventional time frame you want to plot the chart for it is absolutely possible and the best advantage is as we go ahead in this series you will learn to backtest the indicators on unconventional time frames also and check whether they are giving you more profits than conventional time frames now this was about understanding how to change the time frames of the chart 
द नेक्स्ट थिंग इज प्लॉटिंग इंडिकेटर्स आई कम बैक टू अ कन्वेंशनल टाइम फ्रेम लेट अस से मे बी अ फाइव मिनट्स चार्ट एंड ऑन द फाइव मिनट्स चार्ट विल स्टार्ट बाय अंडरस्टैंडिंग हाउ टू प्लॉट इंडिकेटर्स let us say if i want to plot any indicator it is very simple you can just go to this indicator section available here and here you will see there are many inbuilt indicators in the technical section so if you click on technical these are the indicators available to you to use you can use any of these inbuilt or if you want to use any other indicator there are a lot of community scripts in community scripts there are more than 1 lakh indicators these are developed by trading view users who love to share their ideas with the community we'll stick to technicals first in technicals let us say if i want to plot moving average i can simply search for moving average and when i search for moving average you will see there are many different types of moving average moving average moving average convergence divergence exponential so forth and so on i can select let us say the first one moving average the moment i select it a moving average line is plotted on the chart and here if i want to edit the parameters of this moving average i can simply click on this ma9 so whatever indicator you are going to plot it will be visible to you on the top left of your chart it is visible to me here as ma9 that means it is a moving average of 9 period so if i go to settings i can change the length of the moving average i can maybe make it to say 20 and when i click on okay you will see now moving average is getting plotted as per 20 period and not as per 5 period similarly there are different settings each indicator will have its own set of parameters so you can edit or modify whichever indicator you want to use now when i talk about indicator there are two types of indicator one is upper indicator second is lower indicator upper indicators are plotted along the chart for example moving average now moving average you will see is plotted along with the candles itself the another example of upper indicator would be say super trend now if i select super trend and click on super trend you will see a super trend red and a green color line getting plotted along with moving average on the upper chart itself however there are some indicators that are usually plotted below the price chart and those indicators are called as lower indicators and the example of that would be say rsi so if i go to indicators and select rsi and click on rsi you will see rsi is plotted below the price candle charts that is it is plotted below and it is independent of the primary chart so whatever changes i will make in rsi will affect only the lower chart and not the upper chart so there are two types of indicators one is as i said upper indicator second is lower indicator another example of lower indicator can be let us say macd i'll just select macd that is moving average convergence and divergence the moment i click on it you will see another indicator lower indicator getting plotted now once these indicators are plotted i can hide or i can make them visible also or i can even play around with their orientation for example if i want to plot macd above rsi i can simply click on this arrow button here it will move the macd pane up similarly if i want to plot only moving average and hide super trend i can simply go on this super trend and click on this i you will see super trend is hidden similarly if i click on moving average i moving average will be hidden and then when i deselect super trend now only super trend will be visible so this way i can select or unselect any particular indicator on the chart or i can leave everything open now this is when we are doing trading with normal candlesticks trading view also has a feature for a user to select between different types of candlesticks a user has to simply go to this candle icon here and you will see there are these many types of candles there is bars candles hollow candle column line etc etc the most popular one is hikenashi so if i click on hikenashi you will see now hikenashi candle being plotted here 
Similarly, another popular candle pattern is Renko. I can simply click on Renko. The moment I click on Renko, you will see now Renko charts being plotted. So as a trader, it becomes really easy for you to navigate between different types of candlesticks, different time frames and different indicators on this powerful platform. Apart from these features, TradingView also has plenty of tools which allows a user to mark important points also. I'll come back to my normal candlestick chart. So I'll just go back to normal candles. This is how the normal candle looks like. Now in this normal candle, if I want to use any other tool, I can do that. There are a lot of inbuilt tools here. Let me help you explore them one by one. First is this four lines that you see here. If I click on this arrow, you will see these are the number of inbuilt tools related to Fibonacci and Pitchfork. So if I click on Fib retracement, it is Fibonacci retracement. I can select the start point. I can select the end point and you will see Fibonacci being plotted very smoothly with all the levels. Similarly, if I click on this GAN and Fibonacci tool again, I can use GAN fan, Fib circle, pitch fan, absolutely anything. There are n number of indicators and tools. You can explore them and check out what works the best for you. Similarly, if I want to plot or highlight any specific level, I can use this brush or geometric shapes. In geometric shape, I have normal highlighter, rectangle, circle and many other things. For example, I can select rectangle and maybe mark some demand and supply zone. Now, until and unless you don't delete it, it will stay there. This type of shapes can help you mark your price action levels very, very smoothly. Apart from that, if you want to note down any specific information, you can click on text and write down anything you want. For example, I can write as breakout levels and click on OK. Now I know that this particular level is my breakout level and above this I have to buy. So some sort of information that I want to convey through my chart to myself or to my end users, I can absolutely write anything on the chart. The next tool which is very useful are the patterns. In the patterns, you can find ABCD pattern, three dives pattern, head and shoulder, Elliott impulse wave, all these automatically. For example, if I click on Elliott impulse wave and start and select the end points, I can mark the Elliott levels. And this way I will be able to mark what are the levels at which I want to take trades. Apart from that, if I want to add certain icons or change the scale, there are plenty of tools. As a user, you can explore all of these tools one by one. Not only this, in trading view, you have also have one more option to select your chart settings. To check your chart settings, simply click on this setting icon here. And in the setting icon, you have numerous options to play around with. Firstly, my background is black color. If someone doesn't like black color background and they want to change their background, they can change it to maybe say white and change again this to white and click on OK. Now you will see the entire chart has become of white color background. Similarly, I can go back to the chart setting again, play around with vertical line, horizontal line, etc. So the moment you make any changes here, the corresponding changes will be reflected into your chart. Not only that, in the trading, I can also check profit and loss, reverse button, orders, X, all of that. I can even select instant order placement, sound notification for order execution, all of that on the trading view. So now whenever any order will be executed, I will get corresponding sounds. Similarly, in the scales, I can select uh, what all to be shown here. If, if I want my symbol name to be shown on the chart, I can select and you will see nifty symbol is written here. Similarly, if I want to plot the levels of symbols previous day close, if I select this, you will see now previous day close price is visible. If I want to also highlight bid and ask, I can click on this and now bid and ask will also be highlighted so forth and so on. So there are many different types of chart settings as a user you can play around with those settings and whatever is comfortable or convenient to you you can keep those settings for now I'm comfortable with black color chart so I'll just make it black itself and if you want to change the candle colors you can simply go to chart settings go to symbols change the body color, borders, wick, etc. One more very, very important point about TradingView is that if you're trading 
in different international markets maybe let us say forex market or crypto market and you want to convert the price from INR to USDT or vice versa you can very smoothly do it on a scale now to showcase you that I'll just remove all of these things that we have done so what I will do is I'm just going to remove all the indicators and I'm also going to remove all the patterns simply select those patterns and simply click on delete and that's it the patterns will be deleted I will all even remove the text right so now nifty is at 18,260 but what if I want to know what is the value of nifty in terms of dollars I can do that very very easily here there is an option called as INR that is Indian currency because this is an Indian script so the currency will be INR but if I click on INR and if I change it to say USD now you will see nifty prices have been shown in terms of dollar that is nifty is currently at 223 dollars if i want to see in usdt that is crypto of us dollars i can simply select usdt and in the terms of tether i will be seeing it as 243 tether similarly if i want to check the price as per btc with respect to bitcoin the price of nifty with respect to bitcoin is 0.013 bitcoin so this way i can compare any script with any different currency and check how much it has grown compared to that particular currency let me take it back to inr right so this was a brief introduction to trading view i hope you guys like the feature that trading view has to offer in our coming lesson we are going to go a step ahead and we are going to explore few more very very advanced features of trading view and we will learn how to utilize them to evolve our trading and to take our trading to the next step so so see you in the lesson number two in this series